So welcome you all to eSparks.in. In this topic, we will be studying about risk and risk management. So a very important topic is from the examination point of view, from the view of RBI grade B and it is a part of your finance subject. Right. So risk and risk management, definitely we are looking at the banking sector. Okay. We will be looking at the risk associated in the banking sector. Now, what are risks? First, before moving on to the risk management, what are risks? Risks kya hota hai? We can define risk as the possibility of loss. What is the possibility of losses? Kuch bhi aap kaam kar raha hai. You are going to a bank. You are depositing, a, you are depo depositing some money to the bank here. Right? And it is your bank. Then you want the money should be placed safe there. Right? So here you think that my risk is very low in this case. But you are going, some friend of you has asked for some money. And you know that this friend, this friend does not return the money in right time. So will you go and lend him the same amount? Will you go and lend him? Okay, bhai, tu le ja rakla, rakle, mere paas bahut jata paisa hai. No, you won't go. You won't go and you won't uh, provide him the same money because here in the second fact, the risk associated is highly more. Right? So this is the definition of the risk. Banking sector, as we know, it has to face various types of risks because of the, not now, but from before also it had to face various types of risks. Uh, you can see various scams like the Nirav Modi scam or different types of various scams that had taken place in the past. The banking sector faces various risks in the current landscape, economic landscape. And in this presentation, in this uh, video, we will be looking at the various type of risks associated with the bank. So the first type of risk that we are studying here is the market risk. What is the market risk? Remember, you are investing some money in the stock market. Right? You are uh, investing in some stock market. So generally in the stock market or you are investing in some forex market. Okay, or investing some money in the commodity market. The, these are different types of markets. Okay, so re, think that you have invested thousand dollars, dollar thousand in the forex market, and the forex market is now unstable due to the Russia Ukraine war. It has become unstable, and your dollar thousand has now turned into dollar hundred. So here you can see that you had to face a loss of rupees of dollar nine hundred, right? So due to the market investment, due to the investment in the, uh, due to investment in this forex market or the stock market or the commodity market, you can know that the bank that what the bank do, does it provides some money as the loan. Also, it invests some in the stock markets, in the markets, external markets. Okay, so when the market crashes, the bank has to accompany some risks, some losses, and these are associated with the market risk. Okay, therefore, management of this market risk is very crucial. Therefore, a very important topic here comes is diversification of the funds. The fund must be so diversified, the funds must be provided in so much of scope so that in, if in one case it gets some loss, then in the other it gets a high profit margin. Right? So this is the concept of diversification. This is the concept of market risk. Now let us look at another topic. This is the credit risk. Okay. Bank, I, I have gone... Okay, so this is me and I went to the bank. This is the bank, okay, and it has provided me a loan. I asked them for a loan of rupees 1 lakh. The bank said, okay, we will give it. So, for, but I didn't came back later and bank failed to recover this loan from me. Okay, I went to the market, I bought some things and I consumed them all. Okay, I bought some foods, I bought some cold drinks, I, I went to KFC and then uh, I invest, I 
spent rupees 20,000. Similarly, I spent all of the money and now I, I am cashless. I don't have any money. The bank will come to me. They will ask for me to return the money and but I don't have that money. The bank now fails. What is the meaning of bank now fails that this money, this 1 lakh rupees, it becomes the NPA or the non-performing asset of the bank and it is unable to recover this money. So this is the credit risk. The risk with the bank is associated with when it lends money to someone. Okay, so therefore what the bank must have done, it must have looked at my credit worthiness, it had uh, done a proper KYC of, of my uh, documents, it has done proper checkup of all of the things. Okay, it has uh, learned my credit score, then only it should have lent the loan. But since it gave loan to anybody it wanted, the money is now registered as NPA or the non-performing asset and the bank is unable to use it. So this is the credit risk. Kabhi bhi koi loan ho, wo recover nahi kar paayega. Koi bhi aisa loan, chahe wo koi bhi scam ka loan ho, kisi bhi cheez ka loan ho, agar wo recover nahi kar paata hai, to wo uska non-performing asset ban jata hai. Jisko wo kabhi bhi future mein recover ya to kar paaye ya na kar paaye. But usko bank maan leta hai ki nahi, ye loan gaya hai, ye barbaad ho gaya hai, ye doob gaya hai. Ab isko recover nahi kar sakte hai. So, this is risk, this is credit risk. Hai. Credit means the loan is associated with loan se associated jo risk. Hai, usko credit risk kaha gaya hai. Now, let us come to another type of risk which is the operational risk. A very common risk. Human error ki karan koi bhi agar risk ho jai. Ya fir system failure ki karan koi risk ho jai. So, this is an operational risk. Let us imagine a small bank here. This is a small bank and its name is xyz bank okay iske paas bahut sare computers hain and computers mein kya hua entry kar rahe the ye log balance sheet apna bana rahe the ye aadmi hai kuch log seat mein baithe hue hai aur computer mein apna editing kar rahe hain they are doing the making the changes they are uh, looking at what are the uh, capital assets uh, with us what are the liabilities present with us they are determining the balance sheets okay so bank ka bahut sare financial document ilum jaanch kar rahe hain but what happens now there is a power failure power failure and ye log kya tha ye log ka iske pehle power failure ke karan usse pehle power failure ke pehle there was also internet failure so first the connectivity was lost and now the power input was lost. So now the documents which have not been saved or if there have been half entry of this, there are chances ki abhi usme kuch gadbad ho jai. Due to the sudden failure. Internet raha hai to sab kuch internet mein jake save ho jayega. But since the internet connectivity is lost and also the power is now not there, then it may be possible ki koi rupees 3 lakhs ko, 3 lakhs which must have been rupees 300000 someone has entered it as rupees 30000 and then the power has gone if this has not been checked later then it comes under a human error it comes under the system failure and this leads to operational risk similar is an example you can say that Similar uh, in similar example, you can say that due to the internet connectivity or due to the wrong entry in the check, due to the wrong entry in the checkbook, you must have provided dollar fifty, but someone has, but you have provided dollar five hundred to someone by some typing mistake or due to some other types of mistakes, some human errors. You are busy in your phone gossiping with your friend and a path kar rahe paas so paas so paas so jisko pachas dene ka baat tha, usko paas so de diye. So these are the operational risks. And managing it also is very important. Now, there is another type of risk associated that is the compliance risk. A bank, a bank is regulated by the RBI Act of 1934, by the Banking Regulation Act of 1949. Plus Negotiable Instrument Act. Negotiable Instrument Act. So it has to comply with all the rules and uh, all the terms and conditions. It has to move inside within the rules made. Okay, so it has to rules within the rules and the rules and move karna padega, run karna padega. If the RBI says that you have to maintain the CRR of 8% or 9%, then you have to maintain it. Fine. So, therefore, if the bank is unable to 
maintain the regulatory compliances then it is unable to manage its compliance risk properly and it has to provide penalty and there are also chances chances of the reputational damages okay company ka naam ya fir bank ka naam ho sakta hai us time kharab ho jaye next there is cyber security risk we don't uh, we don't learn it individually it also comes under some of the operational risks but cyber security risk is a very important one therefore we have created a different slide for it ओके साइबर सिक्योरिटी रिस्क आजकल बैंक अकाउंट में कितने सारे अटैक्स हो रहे हैं ओके तो हैकर्स आर अटैकिंग द बैंकिंग सिस्टम एंड दे आर ट्रांसफरिंग द मनी सो दीज आर ऑल द साइबर सिक्योरिटी रिस्क देर फोर बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री नाउ हैज टू कंप्लाय टू दी साइबर सिक्योरिटी मेजर्स विच हैज बिन प्रोवाइडेड बाय दी विच हैज बिन प्रोवाइडेड बाय दी डिजिटल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विच आर एंड दे मस्ट ऑल्सो रेगुलरली अपडेट दमसेल्व विद द साइबर सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसीज राइट टू प्रोटेक्ट द सेंसिटिव फाइनेंशियल डेटा एंड दी कस्टमर इंफॉर्मेशन now let us learn about liquidity risk so this topic had come first but since it is a, a very important one so let us now learn what is the liquidity risks see this is me this is me i had deposited rupees 1000 with the bank okay and what does this bank do this has this has given rupees 1000 to some person as loan person b this is person b okay he has given this to the loan but now what i want that i am now in need of money i go to the bank and ask to return my money but since this bank has provided rupees 1000 to more 1000 uh, money to b it does not have sufficient of funds to fulfill my net demands or to fulfill my funding obligations so now the bank is said to have liquidity risks it does not have sufficient short term funds to meet the short term funding liabilities or to meet the funding obligations राइट तो कभी भी अगर बैंक के पास उतना पैसा नहीं है कि वो अपना शॉर्ट टाइम शॉर्ट टर्म के लिए कोई भी करंट वो उसके पास उतना पैसा ही नहीं है कि वो कस्टमर को एक दे पाए तो उसको कहेंगे हम लोग लिक्विडिटी रिस्क सो ये बहुत ज़्यादा क्रिटिकल रिस्क है बिकॉज इसके साथ सारे चीज़ों को एसोसिएट कर सकते हैं एंड इट कैन लीड टू दी फेल्योर ऑफ द बैंक इफ नी नॉट मेनटेन इट कैन लीड टू दी फेल्योर ऑफ द बैंक ओके okay, कभी भी इकोनॉमिक डाउनटर्न हुआ लेट अस कंसीडर कि कोविड नाइन्टीन आ गया अभी हजार लोग जाएंगे अभी हजार लोग जाएंगे बैंक के पास और तुरंत कहेंगे कि हमको पैसा चाहिए तो वो एक केस हो जाता है कि कोविड नाइन्टीन हो गया है अभी सब कोई का नौकरी चला गया है सब अभी जा रहे हैं कि मेरे को पैसा चाहिए हम बैंक से उठा लेंगे बट बैंक के पास लिमिटेड मनी रहेगा ओके okay, सो so, इस केस में इस केस में क्या होगा लिक्विडिटी रिस्क होने का बहुत ज्यादा चांसेस है देर फोर बैंक मस्ट मेंटेन इनफ लिक्विडिटी इन इट सिस्टम टू एनश्योर दैट इट इज स्टेबल इवेंट ड्यूरिंग इट इज स्टेबल इवेंट ड्यूरिंग इकोनॉमिक डाउनटर्न कभी भी इकोनॉमिक डाउनटर्न हुआ या फिर एनी अनफॉर्चुन सरकमस्टांसेस या फिर कभी भी कुछ अनदेखी सरकमस्टांसेस अचानक कुछ आ जाए हालात कुछ ऐसे खराब पड़ जाए तो उस टाइम पे वो मैनेज कर पाए राइट now the next type of risk that we will be studying here is the reputational risks okay aap jaate hain bank mein you go to the bank here and here the bank staff is sitting and aaram se wo gappe maar maar ke cold drinks yahan pe wo cold drinks liye hua hai aap ja rahe hain bank mein headphone lagaye hua hai ye aap usko bol rahe bhai mere ko khata print apna chahiye mere ko khata print kar do yahan pe line pura laga hua hai aapke piche बट द बैंक स्टाफ इज वो क्या कर रहे हैं वो सुन ही नहीं रहा है आपका बात वो अपना आराम से गाना सुन रहा मूवी देख रहा है वहां पे धूम थ्री धूम थ्री तो हो गया धूम फोर मूवी रिलीज हो गया है और ये अपना मूवी देख रहा है आराम से बैठ बैठ के ओके सो दिस इज द कंडीशन दिस इज द कंडीशन की जब आपको गुस्सा आएगा बहुत ज्यादा एंड यू विल थिंक दैट वट वट दल इज डूइंग ठीक है तो ये केस में क्या है ये केस में बैंक का रेपुटेशन खराब होता है या फिर अनएथिकल कंडक्ट कुछ होगा लेट अस कंसिडर कि ये बोलता है कि ठीक है मेरे को पहले दस रुपया दो 
मेरे को या फिर मेरे को पहले हजार रुपया दो हजार रुपया देने के बाद मैं तुम्हारा काम जल्दी कर दूंगा सो दिस इज अनथिकल बिहेवियर अनथिकल प्रैक्टिस विच लीड टू दी लॉस ऑफ द रेपुटेशन ऑफ द बैंक एंड ये चीज ये आदमी के साथ नहीं होगा अगर आप एस में गए हैं तो ये चीज़ एस के नाम से आप जोड़ेंगे अगर आप बैंक ऑफ बड़ोड़ा में हैं तो बैंक ऑफ बड़ोड़ा से कोटक महिंद्रा में उसी बैंक से एच में है तो बोले कि एच बैंक का ये ऐसा हालत है वहाँ का स्टाफ ऐसा है ये है वो है ओके सो दिस इज रिलेटेड विद द रेपुटेशनल रिस्क वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग देर द बैंक मस्ट एनश्योर दैट देर इज ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन द सिस्टम देर इज एथिकल कंडक्ट एंड देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप वेर द कस्टमर्स आर ट्रीटेड एज गॉड्स एंड नॉट एज सम वन इन्फेरियर ओके कस्टमर को कुछ भी नहीं समझेंगे आप यू थिंक दैट कस्टमर्स दे दे विल कम ऑफ एन एंड दे विल जस्ट ट्रबल अस देन यू आर नॉट द राइट स्टाफ एंड देन यू मस्ट नॉट होल्ड द राइट पोजिशन द सुटेबल पोजिशन इन द बैंक so this is related with the, not the reputation of yourself but also with the organization that you are working this is the reputational risk that the banking sector has to face now there are various other type of risks like the call risk interest rate risk and strategic risk so there are various other type of risk associated with us but these we have studied are the most important types of risk that we must understand now let us learn about a very important framework it is generally camels okay so not this camel it is not this camels but camels stand stands for cap c stands for capital adequacy okay what is capital adequacy a bank must obtain sufficient capital in its account sufficient funds in its account to uh, to survive any unforeseen circumstances or to um, deal with any financial crisis economic downturns right next there is a a stands for <coughs> asset quality the type of asset that you are holding is also very important kya wo asset aapke liye acha hai you are providing the loans the loans are of good quality or bad quality will you recover from the loan or will that loan turn into an npa or non performing asset it is the asset quality m is the management okay m is the management how do you manage the crisis kabhi bhi agar koi risk aaya how do you manage it it all depends on your management techniques it all depends on your forecasting it all depends on you and your team theek hai next is e e for earnings are you able to earn sufficient from Uh, from the sources that you have uh, uh, lent money are you uh, able to generate a good income is so it all depends it all depends as to aap kahan kisko loan diye hue hai kahan pe aap investment kiye hue hai so these are all of uh, the, these all come under the e or the earnings now we have next that is l l stands for liquidity do you have enough funds to cater to the needs of the people in the short term kya abhi instantaneous mere ko paisa chahiye kya aapke paas utna paisa hai liquidity hai aapke paas so it is very important you know liquidity is very important because agar liquidity nahi rahega then bank must see that the bank will not survive very much okay to so liquidity means short term funding uske paas kafi zyada rehna chahiye and the next one is s or sensitivity what is the sensitivity generally ki how how is the market how is your bank sustainable is your bank sustainable how much is it sensitive to the uh, to upcoming downturns to upcoming crisis is your bank much sensitive or less sensitive so camels is the rating that is started that is given from 1 to 5 point ek se 5 point diya jata hai jab bhi ek point aapko kisi bhi mein capital adequacy mein 1 point means you have sufficient capital but agar asset quality mein aapka 5 aa jata hai it means that you have very poor quality of assets 5 means very poor and 1 means very good okay so it is the camels or the uh, c a m e l e s framework that we study as a regulatory rating system used to evaluate the soundness of financial institutions now whenever there is a risk i must say that whenever there is a risk you must know ki risk kabhi bhi ho sakta hai risk aane se what you can do you can avoid it okay pehla to kya kar sakta hai you can avoid it next you can try to mitigate it 
की रिस्क को थोड़ा सा कर, कैसे करके डील कर दे और थर्ड यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट इट रिमेंबर दिस थ्री आर द थिंग्स दैट यू मस्ट डू फर्स्ट वन इज अवॉइडिंग द रिस्क छोटा मोटा रिस्क है ओके अवॉइड दिस रिस्क वी विल रन एज वी आर डूइंग now mitigate it or you can go and say that no i will have to deal with the risk and i will mitigate and solve the problem that has uh, come okay i will use my uh, brainstorming patterns or i will use uh, my team to mitigate the risks and then you will run properly accept it but if you are unable to mitigate the risk in proper time then you have to accept the risk and you have to face the consequences you have to face the penalty you have to face the consequences face the downturn you have to face the uh, the effect right so now we have come to the next topic that is the risks um, analysis the risk analysis or we can say the risk or we can also see it is the risk management okay risk management or risk analysis so it has generally four types we can generally ally, analyze risk in four types ek ek karke dekhte hain the first one is the risk identification pehla zaruri hai ki you identify the risk what are the risk associated with the transaction of the bank kuch bhi ki ab hum kisko paisa de rahe hain kya kar rahe hain kitna risk hai risk hai ki nahi hai you have to identify the risk what are the risks that can happen if i am lending money to you okay the bank has to think in this type the second one is to assess the risks now i will see that okay there is risks there is risk i know that there is risk but abhi usko assess karna zaruri hai how much is the risk you have to know that how much kitna zyada up to when kab tak hai risk hoga theek hai so you have to know that these are the things रिस्क को एसेस करना badi baat nahi risk ko analyze karna bas badi baat nahi hai you have to assess the risks okay so in the first we have learned about risk identification okay so risk identification in the second we have learned about assessing the risk or measuring the risk okay it is also called risk measurement the aim of this is to make assessment of variations in earning loss due to default market value etc so different different uncertainties ko dekh kar ke we measure that what is the sensitivity what is the volatility and what is the downside पोटेंशियल ऑफ द रिस्क इसमें कितना खेती हो सकता है क्या ये रस्सी मेरा पूरा टूट जाएगा या फिर थोड़ा टूटेगा ठीक है तो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द रिस्क एसोसिएटेड नाउ रिस्क मिटिगेशन अभी रिस्क को हटाना है सो यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर दी स्ट्रेटेजी ओके सो वी लर्न दैट यू यू कैन डील विद रिस्क इन थ्री टाइप्स सो वट वर द थ्री टाइप्स वट वर द थ्री टाइप्स वन वज टू एवॉइड वन वज टू मिटिगेट और वन वज टू एक्सेप्ट बट you have to mitigate in maximum cases aapko mitigate karna padega you have to deal with so in this strategy you prepare for and lessen the impact of risk aap deal karte hain risk ke sath and risk mitigation takes steps to minimize the negative effect of risk okay to risks to aa gaya hai bank mein abhi kaise isko deal kare aur usko zyada din tak na le kar ke isko khatam kar de risk ko aur isko kam kare so this all comes under the risk mitigation okay Now the last one is the risk monitoring and control. The risk टल गया है Risk टलने के बाद you have to control the risk. You have to check that this risk doesn't doesn't come in the future. And also it comes. Also if it comes, then you must be able to deal with it properly. So this is the risk controlling. You have to monitor the risk properly. Ki miti C. When you have found out the ways to mitigate risk, then you have number of tasks. You have contingency plan that you can deploy in the future so that this risk can be mitigated in future also automatically without your presence. Okay, you can make some policy uh, term changes. You can make some condition changes. You can increase the cyber security. Okay, so these are some of the things that you must do. The bank takes the following steps in controlling risk: an appropriate organizational structure. adopt a comprehensive risk management approach and set up of comprehensive risk rating system okay now there are various risk mitigation strategies that we have uh, we will learn okay Uh, that we have learned in this module कि हम लोग किस तरह से risk को mitigate करेंगे क्या करेंगे and no there is no need to go into much depth आपको RBI बी आई का एग्जाम देना है आपको आर बी आई में आपको जनरल गवर्नर नहीं बन रहा है ओके okay, अभी तो फिलहाल के लिए आप उतना ही स्टडी करिए जितना आपका एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से इम्पोर्टेंट है ओके सो दिस ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक्स 
for watching our video and if you do like our video please do like us and please do like our channel and please do subscribe our video okay so the notes are are available in esparks.in you can enroll into our courses and risk ka bahut aur sare factor hai cet1 okay car so isko sare ko hum log janenge but dheere dheere pehle zaruri hai ki aap concepts ko understand kariye thank you that's all for today and remember to like and subscribe thank you